the Boxing Talk A five seven six. I want to give my thoughts on the Conor McGregor um, Jose Aldo fight. Um, man, <laughs> Conor McGregor. It was a shocking, shocking knockout to me. I thought this fight will go way longer than this. I know everybody, you know, no one picked. Even if you picked uh, Conor McGregor to probably knock Jose Aldo in the first round, nobody predicted thirteen seconds. Man. Um, Conor McGregor leading up to the, uh, build up to the fight. This fight, you know, it was canceled. So he's been, you know, on Jose Aldo for about a year and a half, man. So, you know, he was talking, you know, mad, 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 uh, head games. And he got in Jose Aldo's head. I knew he got in his head because you can see some of the press conferences that Jose Aldo was like agitated, man, like really, really agitated. And Conor McGregor, you know, he, he was confident, you know, I, I could see in his face that he believed that he could win. Like some people talk a lot of crap and, and they don't really believe they can win. They just talking themselves up to get up for the fight. But man, <laughs> Conor McGregor, they both threw a punch, you know, uh, Jose Aldo didn't get there, uh, in time. McGregor got there. Bow. Knock the man out. That's what happens when you exchange punches anyway. When you that's why a lot of fighters do not like to exchange in the pocket, <clears throat> whether it is uh UFC or boxing, because you can get caught. Anybody can get caught. He could have caught he could have could have caught McGregor and knocked him out. It's a gamble, but it's a great gamble for the fans because we get to see the outcome. And the outcome was it was beautiful. When you talk mess like that, man, and you can go in there and bag it up like that, like Conor, Conor McGregor, then that makes you legit. You know, it don't make you look like a clown when you go in there, when you talk a lot of mess and then you go in there and then it's a lackluster performance or you go in there and you get knocked out or beat up yourself. So uh, I want to see what's next for Conor McGregor. I knew this was going to be <coughs> his last, uh, you know, fight because at this weight, because, man, at the weigh-in, you can see the bones in this man's face. You can see it's, 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 he looked like he was half dead at the weigh-in. So he's moving up to 155. So we'll see. It's a lot of fighters up there. I like to see him fight, uh, you know, uh, Anthony Pennis, the guy that jumped off the, you know, the fence and kicked, uh, what's that guy in the face? Henderson, Ben Henderson in the face. Uh, you know, you got Cowboy uh, Donald Cerrone. You got Ben Henderson. You got, uh, you got a lot of, uh, you know, good fighters at 155. We'll see who, how he does against guys. I think that his his weight, but he will you know, have, you know, some quickness and some speed factor going up uh, against some of those guys. But we'll see, because there's a lot of good fighters at 155. Uh, let me let me know what you think about the knockout. This is Boxing Talk, A576. I'm out.